Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from my lady's way tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of January 24th through the 31st, 2022. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of Visions by Kiro Marchetti, and I'm closing off with my hmm, what is this? Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we got card number 47 reversed here. So I do feel like there's a lot of people there for you trying to protect you. I do feel like you got angels and um, getting all kinds of messages coming in. But I feel like I don't want, I don't want to listen. I don't hear it. All right, so we got card number 50 reversed here. So I do feel like some kind of uh, blockage is going on here. I feel like I left something for something else. It wasn't that good. Now I'm mad at everything and everybody, okay? I'm mad at everything, all right? All right, so we got card number 32 here. So I do feel like somebody learned a, another lesson here, okay? I do feel like this lesson has something to do with the family and friends around you. Of course, we don't never really feel like believe them or listen to them. I'm grown, right? But I do feel like this is a lesson to that. Like I should have listened to myself, my dreams, my friends, my ancestors, those voices. <laughs> All right, yeah. So we got card number 37. I do feel like um, you did, you was dealing with a situation where there was too many people involved. And then you had too many people on, on in your life trying to help you. Too many people that you grew up with trying to help you that that love you friends family members co-workers trying to help you with a relationship where there was too many people involved like that don't sound right like why every time you know you ain't want to hear it you don't want to hear that why every time okay yes you don't want to hear that why every time so you just like all oh, y'all need to stay out of my business but i do feel like a lesson learned is listen to what they saying if everybody keeps saying you being mean you're being mean. If some everybody keeps saying you're being disrespected, you're probably being disrespected and you know that because when they said it to you in front of them, you looked at your family members and they looked at you like, uh, was it that bad? Yes, it was that bad. Okay. We know it. We just try to downplay it. Like, oh, he just don't say that or she just don't say that in front of people. In front of people or not in front of people. It's unacceptable. All right. So... We got card number 28 here. So I do feel like somebody doing a little bit of isolation going on here. I feel like somebody's mad. I don't want to talk to nobody. Um, and I do feel like this person that, that you're dealing with in this relationship that's dealing with a lot of people um, and relationships, I feel like they came from your past. So I do feel like childhood, boyfriend, girlfriend, sweetheart, um, somebody that you used to care about in the past, but it didn't work out before. Look like it ain't going to work out this time either, okay? And I feel like you had warnings the whole time. Like, oh, I saw this person with this person and that person. And, you know, oh, we just friends right now. That's how it starts. We just friends. Then you're just looking crazy. We just be looking crazy. All right. So I do feel like somebody feels stuck in this situation now. Yeah. So it's like somebody wasn't listening to the friends and the family. Now there's feelings involved. Now it's just, I can't just walk away. Okay. But with this card number 36, it's like the two of swords. You can just walk away. You just don't want to because those feelings are still there. And that hope is keeping you around, but that hope is all yours. Okay. It's not going to do nothing to change that person who they is. Okay. And that's all yours. All right. So we got card number 17 reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is all off balance because of this situation. What's going on here? Okay. So let's see what's going on with these wild unknown tarot cards for the Gemini. All right. Let's see what's going on with the Gemini. 
What is going on with the Gemini? Gemini, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, somebody could be dealing with Capricorn, but I do feel like there's some negative energy going on here. It's a lot of manipulation. Um, yeah, and I do feel like it's from that person that reached out from the past, okay? All right, so we got the Mother of Pentacles here. So I do feel like you're very kind and giving and honest person. Been like that, okay? I do feel like that's why this person is coming out from in the grave, okay? Digging out, like sticking their hand out of the dirt because... They know you're giving, okay? And it is the time, it's the season, where a lot of people about to get a lot of money, okay? So guess what? They coming to get some of that. So we got the magician here. So I do feel like, of course, if you want this person in a relationship, you can have them, okay? But then you're going to have all the problems attached to them, okay? This person is only around for that material gain. So as long as you keep that in mind, I feel like, you know, you already know what's going to happen. All right, let's keep going. All right. Yeah. Mm. They make me happy. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. You know, I feel like it don't matter what a person want from me. Things are things. If I love them and they love me, that's all I need. But in this situation, you love them, but they love money. And that's this relationship. And you... We're told, I'm saying you, you could have been the one telling somebody, okay? So, you were, you were told that this person is sneaky like that. You know this person is sneaky like that from the past, um, but you didn't look at it like that. You're like, oh, we were meant to be together. We soulmates. That's why this person come back. But in reality, they came back because them checks about to start rolling in, okay? So, let's see what's going on with this Mother of Pentacles. All right, so we got the tower card reversed here. So I do feel like some kind of building up of a previous relationship. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on with this magician. One card, please, for the Gemini. All right, so we got the Mother of Cups here. So with this Mother of Cups, I do feel like you're very caring. You're very loyal. You're very honest. You're very dependable. You're very... Um, understanding, you're very, um, caring, okay? So I do feel like you're going to want this person, think this person, believe this person is doing the right thing, okay? But they're not, and you're going to see it. All right, so it looks like, yeah, you're happy right now. I do feel like you're happy right now with this person. Of course, you're going to get a lot more happier once. I mean, you just like, who? It's like one of those machines, them arcade machines. You got to keep putting money in it to, you know, win. And the lights and colors make you happy, okay? It's like this person is a giant slot machine. As long as you're putting money in, it's giving you all the lights and the the bonuses and the free spins you want, okay? But once you ain't got no money left, you can't just sit in the seat. You got to let somebody else get a turn, all right? It's like it's it's time to go. All right, so with this Six of Cups reversed here, so I do feel like if this reading is for you, this stuff is going to be happening sooner than later, okay? And then also it represents to me that um, you're putting a lot of love and care and th to this relationship and you're not getting that back so you you seeing it it's not coming back but you just so in love with the fact that this person came back and you they might be your soulmate and all that good stuff that you don't see what this person is doing but i do feel like it's gonna come out as soon as you don't have no more money to put in that slot machine okay all right so yes this is exactly what it's gonna become so we got the ten of wands here so it looks like this person is getting ready to become a burden Okay, it seems like it's always going to be something going wrong. It's always going to be something broke. It's always going to be something extra. It's always going to be I left this here and I got to go get an Uber there and uh, my car don't have this and uh, somebody stole that. It's going to be a whole lot of 
whole lot of <laughs> it's gonna be a whole lot of stuff going on and they're gonna expect you to pay for it all the time and that's when you're gonna know that your friends was right but other than that that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs thanks for watching